A very good evening to you all and welcome to Virtual Church. A rather odd introduction there. Hello everybody. Are you all well? Good news. Tonight we've got a load of hymns coming up your way. I can see at least 11 hymns um, on the running order to begin with. We've got a top five as requested by tonight. Alex Macro, and then of course we have live requests. If you're watching on catch up, you can go into the, into the description of the video and choose one of the timestamps to go to your favorite hymn. And before you ask, we are using the organ of St. Mary Le Beau tonight uh, in London. Beautiful church, beautiful organ, and a beautiful acoustic. Without further ado, let's start with our first hymn, which is going to be Jesus Christ is Risen Today. And this has been requested by Brady Kilman. So this is a good Easter hymn, but it's also a very uplifting hymn as well. I'll see you on the other side.
there we go. So, Jesus Christ is risen today. Alleluia. Uh, as requested there by Brady Killerman. And I can see Brady in the chat. So, I hope that was all good for you, Brady. Good um, request and a good way to start today's VC, I think. So, this is the first time that I believe you will have heard this particular organ, uh, the organ of St. Mary Le Beau, as I said before, built by uh, the organ company Tekel. Uh, this is the first time you've heard me play it on this particular uh, console. I, I used it before, um, but it's nice to be able to have access to all of the stops here. So I really hope that through the course of today's virtual church, um, you and I will be able to explore some of its wonderful colours, uh, mutations, reeds, strings, and a very cheeky, it's called a, um, what's it called? There's a, there's a um, oh, hum, oh, crumbs. There's a stop on this organ called, that's it, the Bow Bells. The Bow Bells, B-O-W, Bells, which we'll use at some point today. Let's go on to our next, uh, our next hymn, shall we? Take the volume down, perhaps, apart from one line. Crucify, then crucify is all their breath. You all know what's coming up, don't you? Of course. The hymn, which that, where that line comes from, is... All together now, my song is love unknown. Of course it is, uh, to, to by, uh, composed by John Ireland. Um, it's been requested by uh, Jim Kime. Now, I must remember, Jim, how to pronounce your surname. Jim Kime. Okay? If I ever in the future I say, I'm really sorry, I can't remember whether it's Kim or Kime, that you guys in the chat, you have to say, it's Kime. Rhymes with time. Uh, so Jim says, um, this is a, a thoughtful hymn about our Lord and his work. Absolutely is indeed. Well, it, it is. My song is love unknown. My saviour's love to me. And it's been composed, uh, musically at least, by John Ireland. A wonderful composer um, who was based over here in England um, fairly recently. So let's start with the mutations, the sesquialtera. I'll start with the cornet on the great, accompanied by the choir and swell.
there are actually uh, at least two more verses, uh, but I think five verses just gives you a bit of a feel for how that hymn goes. You all know the tune, and I suspect in a couple of months, Lent is only around the corner, isn't it? Uh, and Passion Tide will soon be upon us, and we'll be singing that hymn quite a lot during the season of Passion Tide. So thank you very much, Jim, for requesting that. Ah, <sighs> so how are you all? Have you all had a good week? Have you got anything you want to get off your chest tonight? Please do chat away. That's what the um, the chat's there for. It's to meet people. Please do chat. It's very interesting to read back when I um, when I finish playing and then during the week I can catch up with what you've been saying. So please do chat away, tell people about your week. What's been your favourite? I tell you what, here's a here's a specific question for you. What's been your um, musical highlight of the week? And I know you'll all write virtual church. I know you'll all say that. Apart from virtual church, what was your musical highlight of this week? Whilst you're um, letting um, us know about that. I'm going to play a tune here called Dundee and to the words God moves in a mysterious way, his wonders to perform, his plants, sorry, he plants his footsteps in the sea and rides upon the storm. It's been sent in or requested by Carmen Foster who says, it's an old hymn set to a tune that I heard for the first time and fell in love with it. So perhaps, Carmen, that's your um, highlight, musical highlight of this week. So four verses of this um, rather glorious and beautiful tune. So musical highlight of your week. I'm going to go for the multi-angle now. No, in fact, no, I'm not. I'm going to go for... Um, the stops screen so you can see what which stops I'm using and I must remember so you mute the microphone because the microphone remains open on this screen so there we go I'll take it off now Such a beautiful hymn, indeed. I think often I play that one in D. Yes. Oops. Wake up. Wake up. It sounded quite. Um, I don't know, actually. It does work in E flat. 
fact, it's quite high here. Depends how ambitious your congregation are, of course. Thank you very much, Carmen, for sending that in. And thank you, Carmen, for all of your comments during the week on various videos. I do see them all. And I always click like on them. So whenever you get a notification saying someone's liked your comments, it's normally me. Ben, ben Wallace is up next. Ben Wallace sent in uh, this him via a high quality scan. If ever you need a high quality scan, Ben Wallace is the man. You need a high quality scan, Ben Wallace is your man. You, you didn't know I could rap. <laughs> I can't just wrap Christmas presents, you know. Um, that's not true, I can't riff or rap, whatever you want to call it, at all. Please don't ask me to do it. I cannot. I cannot do it. <laughs> There's no chance. He has sent in, um, what has he sent in? He said, all the way my saviour leads me, what have I to ask beside thee? Can I doubt his tender mercy? Who through life has been my guide? Heavenly peace, divinest comfort, here by faith in him to dwell. For I know whatever befall me, Jesus doeth all things well. And then that repeats the last line. So thank you very much to King Loudrick, to Nick Knack and to Elizabeth Brown for sending in donations and for making some requests. Um, you can uh, follow by their, lead by their example and if you want to make any live requests, just, um, just, just, it's quite nice just to leave a little bit of change in the BIS tip jar, um, because we've got to pay for our new music room where this organ's going to go. And that is in full swing at the minute. I need to give you an update on that. We're very, very close to having something in concrete. Not literally in concrete, but some concrete information. Um, but I'll, I'll update you very soon on that. <clears throat> but, but it's very close. Worryingly close. Ben, here we go. Here's your tune. The tune is called All The Way.
Thank you very much, Ben. It did sound vaguely familiar. And I say it sounds vaguely familiar because I know that's the only place I've played that, if I have, is here. So I think we may have had that before. I seem to remember the final line. But it's not a hymn that we, that we um, have over in this country. I've never come across that. Question for the chat, everybody watching. If you're here in England or if you're here in the UK, have you sung uh, that hymn in, in any service? I'd be quite surprised if anyone has. Anyway, let's go on to... By the way, this organ doesn't have the keen-eared amongst you may have noticed that it doesn't, it doesn't have uh, a 32-foot flue, i.e. a 32-foot stop, okay? So the lowest pipe on this organ is a 16-foot, like these two over here on the pedal. Those of you with good headphones or good systems, hi-fi systems, will hear that very clearly. What it does have is a quint two and two thirds. Now that basically plays, it plays a fifth higher So when you play um, at the tenth and two thirds together with a sixteen foot, this is the effect you get. It sounds a bit odd higher up, but the lower you go, can you hear? It adds um, a fake thirty-two, so it's playing in fifths basically. It's quite a, um, a good way to, to incorporate a 32 foot if there isn't space in the organ case for 32 foot pipes. Um, Chichester Cathedral has a 32 foot reed and a quint 10 and 2 thirds because there, there wasn't space in the, in, the, uh, in the case for one. So let's go into a request now from Bill. I can see Bill chatting away. Bill uh, is, is often here. And Bill has just said and it's, an, it's an acoustic 32 foot trick. I took the words right off my out of my mouth. Uh, so, oh, thank you very much, Riley and Paul, for that. Ten channel memberships have been um, gifted by Paul. So that's very kind. So look, Josh, Brady, good chappy, Case, Philip, Katrina, uh, Graham, Alan, Elizabeth, Ralph. Must be that is ten, isn't it? They've all got a, a month, um, a month three free uh, channel membership. Thank you to Paul for that. That's very kind. Yay! Um, so what Bill Bill Rady has asked for when peace like a river. Oh, I love this one. I love this one. It is called. It's also known as it is well. It is well with my soul. It's gorgeous. When peace like a river attendeth my way. My sorrows like sea billows roll. Whatever my lot thou hast taught me to say, it is well with my soul. Basically taught you to be an, an, an optimist. And then the refrain is, it is well with my soul, with the words repeated. It's really, I found this a very uplifting hymn, actually. Very uplifting. So I will probably start it, well, let's just see how, how what happens. But... Put it this way, before I start playing it, I do find this personally a very uplifting hymn. I think, you, how, how do you read into this hymn? I'd be very interested to know about that. Thanks, Bill, for sending it through. It's wonderful. Where should we go?
perfect uh, opportunity for the bells to come out there, I think. And if you couldn't hear them properly, listen to them again. So Bill, thanks very much for sending that through. We have had that a few times, but we haven't had it for a while. So thank you very much for reminding me of that. It's interesting to see a few people said there was actually a story behind the words in that. So what I will look forward to doing at some point this week is going back through the chat and uh, seeing whether someone has actually written what the, um, what the story is, what the context is. We're going to go into a hymn now. This is, is one of my favorite hymns. Uh, I'm going to, just going to go and get the hymn book, which is over here. This has been a request from Andy Barfoot. And Andy has requested um, the wonderful tune, uh, well, the wonderful words, should I say, I Immortal Invisible. I had this one fairly recently, but that doesn't matter at all. Such wonderful music deserves to be played regularly, I think. Uh, number 676. The reason I'm using this hymn book here is because the final verse has a, um, a desk cant by Barry Rose. A tune is called St. Dinio, um, Dinio uh, and uh, this is what Andy says. <clears throat> My dad passed away a few years ago from an aggressive form of leukemia. For, for whatever reason, this hymn reminds me of Leicester, my city of birth, and where my dad grew up. It actually reminds me more of my dad's parents um, when Andy hears this tune. So Andy, are you in with us? If you are, it's very good to have you with us and I'm very happy to play this for you. And um, I will be, and I, I hope everyone else will be as well, uh, thinking about uh, you and your family and bearing your father in mind as I play this. Verse three, we blossom and flourish as leaves on the tree, and wither and perish, but naught changeth thee. Great Father of glory. That's the final verse. So, Immortal Invisible, as requested tonight by Andy.
wonderful, wonderful hymn. Andy, um, I'm very happy to play another hymn for you. You sent in two requests. Um, so I'm going to go straight into another request uh, for Andy, Andy uh, Barfoot. Elizabeth, I think we have received your top five. Don't worry, we're just getting through um, the backlog of uh, top fives. There's quite a few to get through, and they're all wonderful. So hold fire, we will get through it. So Andy says about this next uh, hymn, it is uh, another gorgeous tune. We've had some really good hymns to the, uh, so far today. Uh, it's Be Still My Soul, the wonderful uh, tune by Sibelius, which comes from Finlandia. Uh, he says, it's what my soul needs to hear. It's not quite where I want to be in my relationship with God after a decade of tribulations. And music for me is the gateway for me to chat with God. And these old hymns resonate so much and the words mean so much as well. Be still my soul, the Lord is on thy side. Bear patiently the cross of grief or pain. Leave to thy God to order and provide. In every change he faithful will remain. Be still my soul, thy best, thy heavenly friend. Through thorny ways lead to a joyful end. It is, as you all know, by Sibelius. Where should we go? Let's have um, Corne on the grate, some flutes underneath it. How are you enjoying the organ tonight? Does it sound good? Does it sound to uh, your pleasing? Does it sound blended? Get out the colours. Let me know what you think about the organ. St Mary Le Beau. Haven't played this organ for a very, very long time. It's by the same people who um, did the organ of Hereford Cathedral and also a quite a large four manual uh, church organ in Leeds. Here goes.
So that was a little tour of some of the colours this organ can do, including the 16-foot bassoon on the swell. And the orbois as well, or which translates to an oboe. Which is what the bassoon is, but a 16-foot pitch. That was the trumpet. And the clarion. Down the octave. Where are we up to now? Oh, it's Carmen Foster. Carmen Foster has um, sent in another request. He says, he actually saw the author on TV and fell in love with the story that inspired her to write this. Okay, well, oh yes, I remember now, Carmen. You sent this in via an email, didn't you? Um, it's, this is a brand new one for me. And I actually, actually, no, you didn't send it in. I had to find it. It's, where is it? There's a sweet, sweet spirit. Anyone know this one? There's a sweet, sweet, it's quite a long one, physically. Quite a lot of uh, lines there to get through. With repeats, oh no, you know I don't like repeats. In hymns, they seem to just really catch me out. There's a sweet, sweet spirit in this place, and I know that it's the spirit of the Lord. There are sweet expressions on each face, and I know that it's uh, the presence of the Lord. I should have guessed. <laughs> sweet Holy Spirit, this is the refrain. Sweet Heavenly Dove, stay right here with us, filling us with your love, and so on and so on. So it is called Sweet, Sweet Spirit, and it's by um, Doris Ackers. It's good to have a good crowd tonight, we're at 280. It would be wonderful if we get to over 300 tonight. Um, that would be wonderful. We haven't had 300 on BC for a while. So stick around just for five or so minutes. Let those numbers go up to over 300 and then we can celebrate and then you can go and have your cup of tea. <laughs> I don't ask you much. I don't ask much of you. Um, I do actually, I do. Anyway, so let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go to, um, oh, let's have that sort of nice sort of fluty sound to begin with, and then we'll take it from there. I'm just going to chip in there because I don't know this tune. I'm just going to just have another go at the tempo. I think it was too slow. So let's go, maybe let's go in more two in a bar rather than four in a bar. At this top sort of speed. Yes. Yeah, that's that. Let's try that speed. Let's try that once more. Uh, which angle? Well, let's, let's go for this angle. Of a tempo. I haven't quite got the tempo yet, Carmen. Apologies. I still haven't got quite got the tempo. No one's going to stick around for this. Well, you might stick around. You might stick around to watching me make a, a hash of the tempo. So, tempo's going to be this, okay? Let's all agree that's the tempo. That's two in a bar. That's the tempo. I promise from now on. And uh, go!
<laughs> squeaky piston. <laughs> I'd forgotten about the squeaky piston on this organ. It's the grate pedal. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. What is it? Swelter grate? <laughs> yes. Swelter grate. Yeah, so that was slightly... I don't know. I think, guys, the problem, the hard, what I find hard is... That you got it right, by the way. If I don't they, know a hymn... They all agreed it was bang on. Well, good. I think it was quite busy later on. Uh, well, actually, Glenn, interestingly, said he often plays um, the chorus a bit slower than the verse. Yeah. This bit here, it gets really quite busy. I suppose it's all right. Without a doubt, we know that we'll have been revived when we shall leave. What I find difficult is when, if I don't know a hymn, and it starts quite slow like this. I sort of look at that and think, oh, it needs to be to be at a certain speed but then later on when you have all these but yeah I think that's a, that, maybe that's the point it starts slow but then it builds it takes it takes the um, the singer on a journey so who was that that was Carmen so thank you very much Carmen for requesting that and for for making us all have a bit of fun with um, uh, at my expense there I don't mind. <laughs> Next time we'll have to, that is tempo, that is, that is about 60. Crotchet equals 60. Merv says, I like the way Richard worked this one out. A lovely instrument, good to see the thought process in action. Well, it's important to do that. I mean, I should have really done that before I started playing it for the third, first time and for the second time, not just for the third time. But a great tune though. Thank you very much for sending it through. Where are you up to now? We're up to, Brady Kilman, who's requested um, one of my one of my auntie's favourite hymns, actually. Um, I know that because my auntie has uh, requested this on VC a number of times in years gone by. Years gone by. We can actually say that. We can say that. Years gone by. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, so he said, Onward Christian soldiers marching as to war is what Brady has requested. With the cross of Jesus going on before. Christ, the royal master, leads against the foe, forward into battle, see his banners go. And then the rather um, rousing refrain where you can imagine soldiers marching, literally like going left, right, left, right, onward, Christian soldiers. That's the tempo. I know that because I know this hymn pretty well. So enjoy, sing along, or tap your feet.
fantastic tune. Fantastic Sandra hymn. said, today's VC is bang on. Bang on. It is, isn't it? Bang on. The question is, though, Cassandra, bang on what? <laughs> oh, dear. Thank you very much, uh, Carmen, for sending that through and also for sending through $20 just now. We've also had a very, very generous offer from Robert Selaski, who's driving to, to or from the airport. He said he, in the next, in, for the rest of his journey, he's going to match the donations up to a value of five hundred dollars. Wow, wow! So, well, that's very kind. So, thank you. Yeah. So, anyone who donates, I think Robert might match. Robert, that's yeah. very, very kind. So, thank you so much. And I, I, I owe you an email. I've been away this week, um, but I, so I haven't really had time to engage brain, but I have had some thoughts so you and I know what we're talking about and we'll get back to you um, tomorrow tomorrow T Monday t tends to be my admin email day so definitely get back to you I can tell you Richard doesn't like doing lo writing lots of emails it's not uh, his natural habitat I think as people have noticed I don't tend to respond to emails straight away they take his all, natural habitat take is on the console not a long time. not in the email inbox or editing I like editing yes the email inbox is you find harder. We, oh, we, do, wow. well, we do receive a huge amount of um, e emails as well. So I'm really sorry if you don't always get a reply because it is literally too, too many for one person to manage. Henrik, that's very generous. Henrik just um, gifted 20. Oh, Henrik, um, he, he loves Naughty so Nala and he put hashtag NN in, a, put in a, one of his I messages I am so earlier. grateful. And I also really like your picture. Your, uh, your jacket and your bow tie are uh, I incredible. I would I would genuinely wear wear that. So I, I like that a lot. Thank you very much for that generous um, uh, contribution. Wow, uh, well, lots of lovely memberships, so and that all, means the those, counters um, fill up with Nala's. Look at all those ice cubes come flying down. I don't know. Some, Not just someone, any old ice cubes. Nala somebody ice might, cubes. Somebody might have to just explain what the ice cubes thing is about. <laughs> Let's go on to a request which has been sent in by uh, Benjamin Yao. Now he's arranged this. Uh, he said. Another, he's put it at the top here, another little ditty for the Chinese New Year, because Benjamin is Chinese. And he says in his reason, uh, Benjamin has transcribed another song to celebrate Chinese New Year, which on this day, um, on this day of the VC, would be the last day of the festivities, the 15th day, um, so of Feb uh, 15th day of the first lunar month. Does that make sense to you? I hope that makes sense to more of you than it did to me. Uh, that's just me. I mean, Benjamin, what you wrote is absolutely, it makes sense um, grammatically, but it's my head. Um, so when does the Chinese New Year start? I think it started It was last week or days two, ago. Weeks ago. two weeks yeah. ago. Yeah. Is it yeah. the year of the rabbit this year, am I correct? Or is it, oh, I can't remember now. I'm sure. Someone so will know in the chat. Which, year, which animal is it this year? He, I, I Benjamin has uh, told me how to pronounce this because it's a Chinese title. Uh, it's pronounced, I think, um, Hersi Nian. So it's H E X I N, H E space, X I N space, N I A N. Um, Hersi Nian. And it's been transcribed by Benjamin. So um, the words are as follows Congratulations on the new year. Blessings for the new year. A year that follows another. The sound of firecrackers involves memories as a child. Congratulations on the new year. Blessings for the new year. Uh, a year that follows another. These long years do pass swiftly as an arrow. Recalling the past, the bitter pain and sorrow um, as dissipating smoke. Hoping from here on out, everything will go as desired. Congratulations on the new year. Blessings for the new year. A year that follows another. Ble uh, wishing everyone a year of security and peace. Well, I think that's rather nice, isn't it? Thank you very much, everyone, who's just been very generous in the chat just now. That's very kind. Um, as I mentioned earlier on, we are the, the, the music room is really heating up. So things are happening there. Um, and I'll, and I'll, I'll tell you more about that when I can. <sighs> so let's have a listen to this tune. Thank you. 
and that's that's what uh, Benjamin has given me, just just like that. So thank you very much, um, Benjamin, for that. And I think those words are really really um, appropriate, obviously, for a new year. And I like um, I like the what what it says. Um, recalling the past year, the bitter pain and sorrow. I think that's quite relevant recently because we've not had a great few years for one thing and another. And it says, so recalling the past, the bitter pain and sorrow as dissipating smoke. So let's get rid of it. <laughs> Hoping from here on out, let's look to the future, everything will go as desired. I think that's, that's pretty um, relevant actually. So yay, thank you very much Benjamin for that. Cool, making good progress now. We're on our um, 11th hymn now. And this one comes in from Daniel Spears. Um, and Daniel Spears, that's the first time I think Daniel Spears has made a request. That's the first time I've seen Daniel's name. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't recognise that name. Hi Daniel. So hello. We are, I love it when I uh, receive not only requests from um, familiar faces, but also from new people as well. So Daniel, thank you very much. He says this. Uh, it is um, only begotten word of God eternal to the tune. Uh, he's actually put here to the tune Rouen, as in the French town. Uh, but I know I know this tune uh, known as Iste Confessor. He says this. I just heard this wonderful hymn at Mass and wanted to share it with you, especially the tune. So Daniel, look, I love this tune. It is fab. It's one of my uh, great, great tunes, actually. It's in the wonderful key of D minor. And it's, it really does stick in D minor, rather unashamedly, which is good because I think D minor is a great key. Um, and you'll, you'll, you'll all know it. If you, if you can't think of what tune it is, you'll know it straight away, I'm sure. Here goes. <laughs> I did see some people saying actually that they didn't know it 
Um, so perhaps it's not as well known outside of the UK than it is than it is here in England. It's certainly well known here. Most churches, uh, most choirs know that tune very well. Actually, that now takes us to the end of the pre-requested hymns. So we've had quite a few live requested hymns. So thank you very much, guys, for requesting those. We'll get through those very shortly. But before we do that, we're going to have a top five. This week has been sent in by Alex Macro. Some wonderful uh, hymns down here. And he's also written of some very nice exclamations as to why he's chosen them, which actually for me is my favourite thing, is to hear why hymns have been chosen. Before I go through Alex's top five, though, I'm going to play um, a rather short, quick ditty, it's over quite quickly, by Handel, uh, which has been requested by um, Gilhir, oh crumbs, Gilherm, Gilherm uh, Peria. Uh, that's not going to be correct. My birthday is on the 5th of June, um, and I'm loving your, well, oh I see, I see, that is, he's, he's got, I, I don't know what's happened here. Hmm? Um, well, I'm going to play it anyway, because it's quite cool. Um, it's, so he's actually requested it for um, the 5th of June, for his birthday. We're not in June yet. I just yeah. noticed the, I just June? Noticed That's the request quite a long date. way away. <laughs> but I'm going to have it anyway. So we go, he's actually requested... Um, <laughs> Why did that one end up on this week's? Well, it's obviously keen to get it in, which he's is fair it enough. In really it's fair early. enough. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, nice. So we'll, we'll probably get it. I'm have to so remind impressed us. that people are get, getting their requests in this So time. let's whip through it. It's the arrival of the Queen of Sheba. Oh, here comes Bobby. Oh, no. Someone wanted to know where the cats were, but they were both fast asleep. But Bobby has woken up to hear the arrival of the Queen of Sheba. God, Bob's. Bobby, Bobby no. fancies herself as a bit. The arrival of the Queen of Bobby. Really? Look, the arrival oh. of Bobby. There she is. Look, here she is. Right, you ha you you look after Bobby. I'm going to play this. Bobby is the Queen of Sheba. Just trying to get some sound set up. Oh, she's giving me a cuddle. Look, can you see that? She's giving me a cuddle. She's got her arms around my cool. neck. Are we ready to rock? I'd say that was a yes. I put the I put the, um, the the Nazard on the grate, but not on the choir. Oh, Bobby, you're a softy. Okay, so rather prematurely, this is the arrival of the Queen of Sheba, but we don't mind because it's a pretty cool tune. Um, Look at that cat. Oh yes, it's, yes, Ben, it's from Solomon, indeed. Look at that cat, indeed. Oh gosh, behave. <laughs>
Bobby. Good grief. <laughs> Bobby. Look at you. You don't know you're born, I tell you. She went, it was her queen, arrival of the Queen Bobby. Oh, yeah. Queen Bee. Yep. At one point, I did notice you were pretending that Bobby ran onto the manuals. There were a few splashy yeah, notes there. Yeah, it was definitely Bob's. Definitely Bobby. I'm not sure Bob's is great for the concentration in having a cat there, wondering what on earth a cat's going to do. I think, uh, was it Nick Knack? I think he jinxed you. He said it must be hard to play this one um, cold, and then you made a bit of a... What? <laughs> What? It was all right. A little splash. What are you saying? There were some mistakes in that. <laughs> what do you think, Bob's? What do you think? Jury's out, isn't it, Bobby? <laughs> I, I, I can't talk. But, I couldn't uh, play. That, that it. was the arrangement. But that was Bobby's arrangement. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. Let's go into the um, top five now. So, as I've said, this this, this comes in from Alex Macro uh, this week. So, thank you, Alex, for sending it through. And Alex has written some very, very nice um, interludes, uh, introductions to each him, and also an introduction to why he sent this through. So this is a good, this is a really good one. So if you'd like to send in your top five, uh, have a listen to how Alex has done it, and you can do it as well. Uh, so he says, um, "Please may I submit my top five hymns for your consideration in a future virtual church?" Well, yes, you can. Your dedication to the organ uh, and music gives me a great deal of pleasure and I'm delighted to be one of your patrons and a channel member. That's very kind. Uh, sadly, uh, I rarely make a live broadcast. Live gets in the way, uh, but I do try to catch up later on. And thanks too for the Call of Composers book, uh, which uh, Alex has been dipping his fingers into and feet as well. Um, then he says, hopefully he'll be able to come and see me down in Romsey, say hello in person. You'd be very welcome to Alex. Uh, as said many times, and as many others have said, selecting a top five is very difficult. Ask me in a few months, and I'm sure there will be a few differences. So as we always say, it doesn't need to be the ultimate top five. It can just be your top five in one particular week or how you're feeling on a certain day. So we're going to start at number five and count down to number one. And this is what Alex says about this hymn. It's O God of Earth and Altar uh, to the tune King's Lynn. And this is what he says. This is a hymn which I've loved for as long as I can remember. I suspect I was originally drawn in by the tune and Vaughan Williams' wonderful arrangement of it. However, as an adult, I'm also now drawn into uh, G.K. Chesterton's words, which seem so relevant in today's broken world. For example, our earthly rulers falter, our people drift and die. Uh, it applies to too many places, countries, and governments at the moment. Oh look, Alex Macro's made it live tonight. Hello, Alex. Good You've made timing. it in. Good timing. <laughs> Good. Yes, to be on time indeed. So let's now go into "O oh God of Earth and Altar" to the wonderful tune "King's Lynn." Um, this is a, an original English melody arranged here by Rafe Vaughan Williams.
colourful words in there, um, in that particular hymn. Is that it? Smite us and save us all. From all that terror preaches, there's some quite some, some menacing. Verse one, take not thy thunder from us, <laughs> but take away our pride. It's interesting, isn't it? Take not our thunder, take not our what our strong being, our personality, our strength, but take away our, our pride. So that was number four. Number three, number sorry, sorry, that was number five. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Number four, uh, Alex has actually sent in because we didn't have um, we didn't have it. Now it's called uh, the tune is called Rincart. And the words are Christ is the world's true light. It's Could we really captain not have this tune? of salvation. It's a great tune. I know I know this tune. Was it not in the NEH? It's not in the NEH this one. Really? I know this tune quite yeah, well. Totally. Absolutely not. Mm. So this is what it says. He says, another hymn which seems so fitting for today's world. And another great tune. This is the only hymn uh, in the URC, that's the United Reformed Church hymn book which has melody and harmony by J.S. Bach. There are many examples of uh, Bach harmonising uh, tunes, people's other people's melodies, uh, particularly Luther, uh, Lutheran, uh, sorry Lutheran, Martin Luther, uh, but here we get a small glimpse at his great work. I have known, I have been known to turn to it when needing a quick voluntary to fill a small gap. That's interesting. I don't think I know this one. You must do. Well, I don't, I don't recognise it. Really? I don't recognise it. Well, oh, well I apologise. We, we used to sing this at Chichester Cathedral when I was a, a youngster. Did you? We did. Oh, Which is surprising because it's not I in the NEH. Well, let's see. Let's see. Uh, uh, it might be in there. Someone will confirm. No, Christ is the world's true light. It's captain of salvation. The day star clear and bright and joy of every nation. And it sounds like this. Let's see if we know this one.
tune. I'm, I'm quite surprised I didn't know it because apparently it is in the NEH. Um, and Irene said it was the opening. Uh, it just shows you, Irene, that I didn't listen to Coley song this week. Um, it can't be. I, I, I'm really surprised. Anyway, let's move on. Let's mm -hmm. not dwell on my, my failing memory because I know that I've got a failing memory. Terrible, terrible memory. Um, the next hymn no, Alex has also sent in. Um, I d I'm, I'm pretty sure that I don't know this one either. But um, I'll probably be proven wrong again. It's a Lord of Good Life, the hosts of the undying, hail thee as conqueror on the heavenly field. So we on earth to their great song replying, here to thy claim our earthly service yield. That's verse one. The tune is called Eastwood, and Alex says this. This is a great hymn that I've known within the URC uh, tradition. Oh, sorry. This is a great hymn that I've only known within the, the URC tradition, but that's a great pity. And that was the bit that confused me. I wonder why, why is it a great pity? Because it's, he's only known it in the URC, United Reformed Church. It's got a strong set of words and a fabulously rousing tune, which should hopefully be sung with gusto and commitment by a large congregation. After <laughs> After hearing a friend, now come, can someone add the tuba emoji? After hearing somebody, sorry, after hearing a friend add a cheeky tuba descant for verse 3, with, with the words, For thy trumpet calls us on where disciples shall new perils meet. Tuba emoji. It's stuck in my memory, and if I'm ever asked about Sunday hymn selections, then it's always one that I'll consider suggesting. So four verses of this tune called Eastwood. Uh, music is by Eric Shave, as in what you do to your face. Uh, and the words are by Geoffrey Hoyland. And it's called Eastwood. We haven't got a tuba on this organ. However, we do have a trumpet. So, let's have a go. Get the tempo right this time. I just saw I just saw a red. So Robert has matched oh, everyone's Robert. donations as he promised. So thank you ever so much. Wow. He, I think he's finished his journey now. He's able thank to type. Thank you so much, Robert. Thank you so much to everyone actually for being uh, so helpful. Um, the music room is imminent. Uh, we are having sort of final conversations now, and it's it's basically now or never. We need to do it. Um, so more. In the near future on that so all your donations are very very much appreciated and very helpful indeed so thank you so much number three in alex's list lord of good life
definitely, definitely new tune to me, and you can't try to convince me that I knew that one because I definitely didn't know that one. Did you I know didn't. That one? I didn't know it either. Good. Definitely new to me. Um, Alex, I know you're in with us. What hymn book does that come from? I don't recognise. I don't recognise. I don't recognise it in any shape or form. So I don't think it's a hymn book that we have. That was Alex's number three. Alex's number two is um, one of uh, BIS's favourite hymns. Um, and I think actually this. Yes, it was. It was in the official top twenty. I think it was official, official top five. So, Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of Creation, which we have had on BIS VC regularly, and rightly so. Let me just find it, and then I'll read you what Alex says. Actually, for the final verse, I will do a little bit of Mr. Noel Rawsthorn. Alex has said, Rejoice and Sing is the URC hymn book. An, it is a new URC hymn book, okay. I don't, we haven't got that one. So, what does Alex say about his number two, he says? This is just a wonderful hymn of praise, which I've known since I was a small child. I remember the organist's own last verse arrangements would make the whole church resonate with the words, let the Amen sound from his people again. It was uh, experiences like that, Alex says, that led me to also starting to play the organ, something that um, he still enjoys doing 40 years later. That's fabulous. It was also sung at my uh, wedding, uh, so it triggers happy memories from that day. So we can all think about um, uh, you singing this at your wedding with much soul, much heart, and as you say, Alex, with much gusto. Um, and we'll have four verses, and we'll include the final verse, a bit of Noel Rawson. This is number two. What will be... Number one, I wonder. You know it. You know number one, because it has been requested. If anyone can guess it, I'll give you some sort of prize. Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation.
quickly mention the Iron Herder. Hello. The Iron Herder celebrates his or her birthday this week. And um, they've just said, if it were up to me, Lubbock and Heron would be the last thing that I hear on this mortal coil. <laughs> <laughs> it is a great hymn. There's no question. It is great. It, it could say it's an absolute um, banger of a hymn. Um, right, which takes us into number one. I don't think anyone would have got it, but it is one that we have had many times on BIS, although we haven't had it for a while. Yeah, it's not one that um, often appears in people's top favourites list, but it is a really good hymn, isn't it? I think once, when, when I say what it is, um, people will say, actually, yes, that would be in my top five. In fact, let's ask people uh, watching, would this hymn be in your top five, perhaps? When in our music, God is glorified and adoration leaves no room for pride. It is as though the whole creation cried, Alleluia. The tune is called Engelberg, and Alex says, For me, I often feel more and get a bigger lift from the hymns and church music we sing than the words of wisdom we hear from the pulpit. Words of wisdom are in quotation marks there. This hymn says it all. Really, it expresses how music can be expressed to bring us closer to God and understand God in deeper ways. However, the words wouldn't have their power without Stanford's wonderful tune. That's Charles Villiers Stanford, the composer of the music. That final Alleluia should be an outpouring of joy. Good and old Stanford. Alex, Alex simply says at, says at the end, it's simply fabulous. Well, it is. It is indeed. It's over quite quickly, though, because the verses are quite short. Um, we have a nice refrain. And actually, the, the version that Alex has sent through has a bit of harmony, some harmonised verses, so we could have some harmony. A different harmony, should I say. OK, so this is a wonderful, this is a wonderful hymn. I like this one a lot, so let's get on with it quick. Great list, Alex. Thank you very much for sending it through. Here we go.
And with that wonderful hymn by Stanford there, a tune called Engelberg, when in our music God is glorified, as requested by Alex, that draws us a close to Alex's top five. So to recap, we had O God of Earth and Altar in at number five. Uh, at number four, we had Christ as the World's True Light. Up one place to number three is Lord of Good Life. In number two today, didn't quite pip the number one spot, is Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of Creation. And this week's number one is When in Our Music, God is Glorified. Wonderful end to the top five. Alex, thank you very much for that wonderful selection of music. Which now takes us into... Johan just asked if the picture was the interior of our music room. <laughs> picture of what? So Mary LeBeau on your multi Oh, yes. That, <laughs> who, yes, yeah, that Richard would be nice. Wishes. That's what he that, that, <laughs> Yes, that would be nice. I think, I think we'd have to be a very, very successful on BIS to be able to afford a music room like that with real pipes. Uh, no, so no, not, not at all. <laughs> I think you're probably joking. But the music room is, is, is a, a purpose-built space uh, for the organ. Yeah, and it's, it's um, meant to have good acoustics. We've it, had, we've it had has. An acoustician. A, it does have acoustics. Give a report it, on the space. Yeah, well, so the acoustician has designed it in uh, in consultant consultation with the architect, uh, and we are going to have an inbuilt acoustic, um, which will help. Um, only like a, I think when it's empty, it's going to be up to a second and a half. Um, so one and a half second of reverberation in a in a smallish room is actually quite generous if you think about how long one and a half seconds is. Oh, that's quite a long time. So actually it will help, hopefully, um, the blending of the Hauptwerk sound in here. And we're going to be very careful about speaker placement and voicing the organ, because I know that uh, an acoustic, in addition to the Hauptwerk acoustic, might cause a little bit of booming and all of that. So it's going to be very carefully voiced, very carefully uh, placed in the room. Uh, we're have, going to have little sort of concert chairs, and by that I mean basically comfy sofas uh, for people to come and listen to people play the organ in the room live. It's going to be an intimate experience, uh, but it will allow people to come into the room and watch firsthand uh, the, some of the wonderful organists that we have playing, and I'll be also be uh, inviting people to come and join me for virtual church as well. Bring a hymn book and you can sing along to the hymns. Wouldn't that be pretty cool? And thanks, Alex. Alex Macro has just given you £25 and said thank you very much for playing my top five. Much appreciated. Thank you, Alex, for sending it through. It was a great list, I thought. Very good indeed. Right, so now let's go on to what, what people have been requesting live. So thank you very much to, uh, to our producer this evening. James. Uh, James, who has been doing such a good job, uh, as always. Um, we have a very small team of producers who work behind the scenes to make sure that things are going well. And, uh, in fact, I had a little bit of feedback earlier that the microphone was a little bit too quiet, so we just turned the volume up of the microphone a fraction. I hope it's a bit better now. Um, this is the first one. Okay, so are you working with James? I'm looking at James's messages now. Um, messages Elizabeth now. Brown. <laughs> Yes, thou who's Elizabeth almighty Brown. word. Is she still in? Yes, I think so. Good. Oh, good. Thou whose almighty word, chaos and darkness heard. The tune is called Moscow. I don't know whether it's um, after the Russian capital, Moscow, or shall I say Moscow? That's the Americans. That's how the Americans pronounce it. Don't know why. I know. No, I know. Well, I didn't know it was the Americans, but I know it can be pronounced that. But then again, we say cow, as in the, what you eat. Well, Hugo says moo, but yeah. Mosmu, it doesn't quite, it's not quite <laughs> the same, is it? Moscow, Moscow uh, is the tune, and the words are uh, Thou, those, so Thou, whose almighty word chaos and darkness heard, as requested by Elizabeth Brown, who is still here, as she's just said. Great tune, this. I, sh I should do my own, but I just, I like what he's done, Mr. Rawstorn. I, I actually I, I do often um, use his uh, re reharmonizations as ideas, but then go off on my own. So actually, it's a, normally a combination of me and him. 
Anyway, here we go. Aha, so we have a different tune to very, very well-known words. I love this one because it often causes a bit of debate in the BIS chat. Healthy debate is always good. And the, the, so if I ask my English or UK listeners to very quickly write into the chat, you all do it, everyone who's watching here in the UK, to which tune do we have the words when I survey the wondrous cross? Let's give them about three seconds to type it out. It's one word that begins with R. Rocking horse. <laughs> yes, correct. <laughs> Two words. That is what it is. <laughs> Rocking horse. However, we have a different tune here. So over um, the pond on the, in America, it's not known to that tune, which I just find, which, that, that, it simply blows my mind that those, these words are sung ever to a different tune. Um, we're going to play it to the tune Hamburg here. And he was requested this one. This was for Henrik Jaranowski, um, who very right. kindly gifted the 20 channel memberships. Not so yes, thank you very much. So as Doug, as Doug has said, it's Hamburg and as Bill, uh, Philip. So there's and definitely Glenn a continental. Well. So there you um, go, you see. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, someone's got a Morto someone. Cristo. Yeah, we had that's a Welsh yeah. tune, isn't it? We, ha we have we have somebody sent us a sheet music of that. Well, we, yeah. If We've someone, got that somewhere. Yeah, absolutely. So there we go. You see, point proven. It's wonderful. But both wonderful tunes. But I just can't imagine it sung to any other one. Well, I can imagine, because I've obviously played it to different tunes, but you know what I mean. Um, so this is 
Hamburg. When I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died. Actually, this is the second uh, Lenten uh, passion tide hymn we've had today. But apparently it fits with the lectionary today, Nick Knack has said. Yeah, I noticed that. Romsey did some sort of uh, Easter-y, passion-y, tidy hymns. I don't know what... I'm, Not Lent I, for a few weeks. I think I missed it. What am I doing? Why have I got the Nazar item as well? I don't, don't want that. I want I don't the... <laughs> you, well, you, you tell you what know. you haven't used yet. Yes. Is the little Zimbelstein. No, 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 no. Well, I have. Have you? I certainly oh, have. Oh, was I not paying uh, you, attention? You just were not. Uh, I wasn't you were here. upstairs. Okay. Or you were just messing around. You haven't used it? Oh, you have used it. Good. Messing around. Tell her, guys. I have used it, haven't I? And you're messing around. Here we go.
actually, so funnily enough, uh, we had the ham obviously had the Hamburg tune to begin with, but there are only four verses in what's this? This is the ELW one two three four. However, in our hymn books, in over here on this side of the pond, we have five verses. <laughs> so we had four verses. Hamburg, one verse, Rockingham. I thought that was only fair. So that was just to please please everyone. There's Rockingham and Hamburg. So the next one came in from Nick Knack, and I believe yep. James has emailed it to you. It's called oh, okay, Lord cool. of Creation. So is it there? Is it there? Is it there? If it's There's not... E James has emailed Hamburg, but I can't find... Well, in that case, while we're finding it, I'll see if I can find it. Um, uh, you can play Carmen's Request, which is one of your favourites. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, well, well, we'll wait for um, James's email to arrive. Is he emailed Hamburg? Well, he said, oh, well, email well, scan. I'll leave, it, I'll leave it to you two I'll to, find out, to anyway. work it out. But did I just hear a cat jump in the organ? No. Okay. No. Fine. <laughs> yes, yes, you <laughs> did hear that correctly. A cat jump in the organ. It happens. It happens here on BIS. Uh, so what has Carmen requested? Carmen has requested live. Um, Love Divine Ull loves excelling. Thank you very much. Good chappy as well. Uh, there's been so many uh, generous people tonight. It, it is all very helpful. Um, it, is all, it is all going into the next BIS phase project. So thank you very much, um, everyone, for that. Honestly, it's more helpful than you can believe. Anyway. Let's go on with some more music, because that's what we're here for.
if you don't mind seeing the um, stops on the screen, I think actually a lot, quite a lot of people have found it really useful to see uh, the stops on the screen. That's a full screen there, uh, apart from my um, you know, top left table there. That's actually what the, you see um, when you load up the extended version of St. Mary Le Beau. The original organ is actually only a two manual, I believe, but it's been extended to three manuals and it re works remarkably well. I think as you would agree. Where are we up to now? Oh, I'm really confused. So Nick like, emailed us two hours ago to the request email address and I can't find his email. Um, what, what, so, can, what can I do? I don't know. A tune, Chedworth by John Barnard. It's only in Mission Praise, which we don't have. So I, I, and I just can't see it. I've, well, we'll have to, I've well, looked in the non Nick Knack will have to um, send the email again. It's not come through. I, I, I don't know. Um, but is, I, it not in your, is it not on yours? Um, I'll, I'll check again, but we've got another hymn to play. Well, I can have a little bit more look, searching time. Yeah, that would be good. Because it's people are waiting. Three nine eight. People like continuity uh, to flow. Yeah, but they also like waffle, and you're good at that. No, they don't like waffle. Here we go. This one came from our friend Ben Wallace. Good old Ben. A witting power by John Barnard. Excellent. Christ triumphant, ever reigning, Savior, Master, King, Lord of Heaven, our lives sustaining. Hear us as we sing. Yours the glory and the crown, the high renown, the eternal name.
Well, I think we've found the next hymn. Sorry, Nicknack, it went into junk. <laughs> For some I reason. know what it's like, Nicknack, because a lot of my emails from my shop, when people order downloads, the, the email that they should receive goes into their junk. And the amount of emails that I get saying, I haven't received it yet, please, where is it? I say, check your junk. And it's nine times out of ten there. Where's my junk then? How do you no, know? No, I've moved it into inbox for requests. Oh. I've moved it. On your phone you have, but that doesn't do it on mine. Oh. Come on, this I is thought getting, it should. This is getting very unslick now. Oh dear. What's the opposite mind, of slick? No well, mind, it, oh dear. It's a photograph scan, so you can't possibly use my phone. You're gonna to have to work it out. Do you want me to have a look? It's not there, Caroline. Oh. Come on, There's a junk, look there, go back. I went into that, that's where I just was, a second ago. They're knick-knack. Right, we found it. <laughs> oh, attachments in the spam folder can't have oh, to be opened. Oh, you have to move it out, I had had that too. Move to inbox. Oh. Let's try again. <laughs> there. <laughs> Unslick, what's the opposite of slick? Rocky, I suppose, bumpy. Wading through treacle. There we go, oh, Chedworth. Lord of creation, to you be all praise. Most mighty your working, most wondrous your ways. Your glory and might are beyond us to tell, and yet in the heart of the humble you dwell. Is that the right one, Nick Knack? Yes. I, I don't know how many verses there are. How many verses? <laughs> That's a good question. Hopefully we'll find out, and we'll find out during the first verse, hopefully. This is for Nick Knack. Thank you, Nick Knack, for your support. And here's your tune. And Nick Neck, I would say it was definitely worth the wait. Oh, it's by John Barnard, I can say at the bottom there, at the top. The words were by, I don't know what the words are apart from verse one. Lord of creation, to you be your praise. Most mighty, your working, your wondrous, your ways. Your glory and might are beyond us to tell. And yet in the heart of the humble who dwell. By Jack Winslow, and the music is by John Barnard. So well worth the wait, it was a wonderful tune. Two more hymns, and then we're going to call it a night. Uh, the first hymn uh, has been sponsored by Daniel Kubaki, 
So uh, thank you very much, Daniel. It's, he's given the number and he's given the hymn book. It is, O Zion, tune thy voice and raise thy hands on high. Tell all the earth thy joys and boast salvation nigh. Cheerful in God, arise and shine, while rays divine stream all abroad. And after this, we'll have a hymn which Ian Garden actually mentioned. Um, it is a really good tune, really, really, really good hymn, one of the greatest hymns. Um, and we'll have that. Um, it's called Ko Fen. How shall I sing that to the majesty? So we'll finish with that. But before we get to that, we'll have Daniel's hymn, O Zion, Tune Thy Voice. And the tune is called East View. That's a nice name, isn't it? East View. Uh, let's go down to the choir. And it sounds like this.
Uh, thanks for using the bow bells there at the end because the Lutheran organist just asked, what is the bow bells on the stop list? Not quite as um, melodic as Blackburn's in Bushan, I have to say. I think Blackburn's one is very... It's very called... It's called it's, so the church is um, uh, St. Mary hyphen le hyphen bow, B-O-W, St. Mary le bow. It's a place in London. Um, and the, the organ has some bells on it called the bow bells. And there they are. The Blackburn bells are a bit like this, Sonny. Yeah. I think it's just, I think it's a C major scale. Yeah, very good. I like that. Good. Well, I think we ought to draw VC to a close there tonight. I think it's, we do. It's my um, bedtime. How long have we been going for tonight? Two and a half hours. That's a good time to, um, to finish. Thank you all so much for your generosity. We've had incredible donations tonight. Some incredible um, donations. Really, well, we have uh, throughout. It is all very, very helpful um, for the next BIS project. I'll be talking about that at some point in the very near future online with you. Uh, so thank you for your help. Thank you for your company. Thank you for your requests. Thank you for your good humour. And thank you to Caroline for keeping an eye on the requests and giving, well, that me, was James, actually. giving me hymn books. And of course, thank you to James Palmer, who some of you may have seen um, James sitting in the congregation on my Arundel organ recital that I gave the other week. Uh, James is sitting right at the front on the right, uh, on the right hand side. Um, he's there, he listened to the whole thing and he experienced the coldness along with me. I just about warmed up from that, James. <laughs> so, yep. Until next week, thank you. We will both say good night. We will both say cheerio. And of course, we will both say stay safe. You've got to stay safe. <laughs> and have a good week, everyone. <laughs> Anything else I should say before I stop waving? No. No. We're all good. I, th I, you know, I think there was something I was going to say tonight, but I've forgotten what it was. Uh, and I've got a feeling I haven't mentioned what I wanted to mention. Um, no, I don't know. Sorry. <sighs> Shoot. If, it is, if it's important, I will... Um, announce it at some point during the week. Good night. Cheerio. Bye bye.